Welcome everybody, my name is Michael and today we're discussing about BitConnect and Glenn Arcaro. He is one of the main promoters behind BitConnect and you might be wondering, who's Glenn? Well, if you haven't been following BitConnect, he is not a YouTuber, but he was a promoter. A promoter in what sense? He was one of the directors of the North American branch of BitConnect, so he actually worked for the company, somewhat. Because <laughs> we don't really know exactly who's the main head honcho behind BitConnect, but we can connect the dots and figure out who the executives are. So think of him as an executive of BitConnect. Just one of the guys who is probably near the head honcho. And this guy obviously got indicted by the Department of Justice. And today we have news that the Department of Justice is selling around $56 million of his assets. So this is a ginormous liquidation and it's around $56 million worth of Bitcoin and whatnot. Uh, cryptocurrency that is being sold due to fraudulent activities. So, the Department of Justice said in an announcement on Tuesday that the liquidation was the most sizable, sizable recovery of assets tied to a cryptocurrency fraud by the United States of America to date. So, $56 million is a pretty big payout, but when you look at it, there was over $2 billion that was missing. So maybe some people, some of the guys who went and sued BitConnect and whatever might get some money back. Who knows? It's going to be spread out to the victims, but also lawyers and whatnot. The agency said it would begin the process of selling the seized crypto and would hold the proceeds in U.S. dollars with the intent of providing restitution to the victims. There we go. Back in September, Glenn Arcaro pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit wire fraud in what the Department of Justice called the largest cryptocurrency fraud scheme ever charged criminally. Very interesting. He faces a max maximum 20 year prison sentence. Oh boy, he's 44 years old and he sat atop a large network of promoters in North America forming a pyramid scheme. It was called the BitConnect Referral Program. He is scheduled for sentencing on January 7th, 2022. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission also filed charges against BitConnect and its founder, Satish Kumbani, as well as Arkara. Okay, this is news to me. Satish Kumbani looks like he's the actual founder of BitConnect. We finally uncovered who he was. And after just doing some digging around, I had this realization moment. Uh, it looks like they uncovered the Department of Justice and all the media outlets released that he was the founder. He's an Indian man back in September. So after so many years, BitConnect was around from 2016, the good old days. It shut down in early 2018. And, you know, nobody knew who this guy was. And people knew that there were some Indian head honchos related to BitConnect because one of the first arrests was an Indian man who was in charge of the BitConnect Indian division for the most part. Let me read you that. This is pretty crazy stuff. Uh, we finally figured out who uh, the, the U.S. government figured out who was the actual guy behind it. That's pretty crazy. So one of the first arrests, um, first of all, on January 31st, 2018, there was a temporary restraining order froze, that froze BitConnect's assets. On August 18th, 2018, Mr. Devyesh Darji was arrested in Delhi, India. It is suspected that Darji is connected to well-known criminal entities at, involved in laundering so-called black money after the Indian government demonetization of the rupee. In 2019, Darji was arrested and released on bail in connection with a similar scam called Regal Coin. <laughs> My favorite was that a lot of the BitConnect influencers, they went straight ahead to promoting Regal Coin after BitConnect collapsed, which was fantastic. So on September 2nd, 2021, the US SEC sued BitConnect alongside its founder, Indian Satish Kumbani, American Glenn Arcaro, who served as BitConnect's lead national promoter in the US from August 2017 to January 2018, which Kind of sucks because he was only there for a couple of months <laughs> and now he's facing up to 20 months in prison, 20 years in prison. And Future Money LTD, a company or car created to lure into BitConnect's lending program. The SEC alleged that over $2 billion was stolen from uh, U.S. investors. That's pretty crazy stuff. I mean, just, just the whole scope of things. Uh, this this founder, this Indian guy. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised because there have been a couple of major Indian Ponzi schemes where these guys were billionaires, like the Indian version of Bernie Madoff and whatever. So I'm not too surprised, but it's pretty crazy to consider that so many people got busted for sure making a couple million dollars and especially all the youtubers and whatever i mean it was short-term money it was a short-term firework but for the head honchos behind this and uh, one coin was another beautiful scam where the head founder went missing and whatever <laughs> that was even larger than bitconnect it's just it's pretty crazy to think about anyways um 
yeah, looks like the Department of Justice is going to be selling some crypto. $56 million is a fair amount of money. Thanks so much for watching. That was today's video. As always, have a great rest of your day. I appreciate every single one of you who has been watching this video. And uh, I wish you all the best. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.